Freebie Garage. So what do I owe you? Nothing. How much? Free. Freebie Garage. Free, 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 free. So what's the cost? Nothing. Really? Free. Are you for real? Freebie. Hello and welcome to Freebie Garage. Freebie because it doesn't cost you a dime. Except for your parts. You gotta pay for your own parts these days. Once we're making money, I'll pay for the parts. <clears throat> you wanna upgrade your truck? Car? Whatever you got, whatever you want, we can do it. Now, if you've seen some of my videos, you can tell that I'm quite handy. And uh, I have this dream where we have garages that fix your vehicles for free. And we got all kinds of apprentices learning from the older guys. And uh, I think that's the way it should be. You know, the big corporations are the reason why we have such low quality parts these days. So the parts are getting lower quality, so they break down faster, so you buy a new one. And another one, and another one. Well, I'm sick of it, and I'm going to do something about it today. And we'll get uh, these big corporations to start paying for our repairs. The, what, the reason why these things are breaking down all the time nowadays, it's all about money. So I'm starting up Freebie Garage. You can email me here, tell me what you got, where you are, and uh, if you want to be in the show or not. So, let's start here by uh, helping out my uncle. Uh, getting his truck running again. He's had some terrible luck with this thing. Good evening and welcome to my nightmare. Tonight we're reassembling this 5.4 liter Triton engine. I had to throw a, uh, a head on it because this one snapped the timing chain. The cam piled up, snapped the timing chain. I just replaced bought a truck while he was out here down in Calgary and uh, he picks it up takes it for a test drive and it runs good I'll take it so he goes and fills it up with the gas doesn't get very far down the road and uh, loses oil pressure and the engine comes to a grinding halt uh oh uh, of course the guy wouldn't give him his money back and uh, he was stuck with it now and I, so he asked me to help him out. So we started pricing out some motors and a rebuild one was expensive. He didn't want to spend that much kind of money and neither would I. Though even a used one was uh, pretty pricey and you never know what you're going to get there. And it was all the way over in Quebec. So uh, it just worked out good so that my apprentice was going to his second year in, in college for uh, to learn about motors. So. They rebuild their own motors in school. So I gave them this one to build up. They don't charge you any labor. Uh, you just pay for the parts and uh, couldn't have worked out better. Except one thing. <laughs> Anytime you're rebuilding an engine, uh, you want to put a new timing chain set in it uh, right off the bat. That thing's been around how many times? and it deserves a new one uh when i went to school they taught us that uh you should always change out the timing chain set uh when you're rebuilding your engine and you know imagine how many times that thing goes around in the life of the engine a zillion at least i'm sure so uh it's always a good idea to change that out because this is a prime example why you should because <clears throat> when you don't when I got this thing back, I fired it up, and I was just making this god-awful racket. The chain was so loose, it was grinding away the timing chain cover. So I, I threw a new timing uh, chain set in there, and a new sprocket, and uh, got it back together, fired it up, and it sounded a lot better, but still had a little bit of a noise coming from, <coughs> coming from the valve cover there. And... Uh, so when this thing died the first time, it starved for oil, and the the cam got all scored up. And so they uh, they line board it in school. My uncle took the truck back after I got it running, and uh, he drove around for a couple weeks, running good. So he's going to drive back home to Ontario, like 5,000 kilometers away, and uh, he gets probably half an hour down the road. 
and uh, the engine stalls again. And this time the uh, the cam that was making the noise uh, actually locked up and snapped the driver's side chain, timing chain. I found a couple of uh, aluminum shavings in in the uh, cam phaser uh, solenoid there, and uh, so I'm not sure they might not have cleaned it up, cleaned all the shavings out good enough maybe. So this thing had a cam pile up on it, snapped the chain, snapped the timing chain, and uh, took out a bit of the reluctor wheel here. I got a new one ready to go, and some new guides, I got chewed up. A little groove in this one so but a new chain and new guides and uh, so <laughs> he drags it back to my place again and uh, I, I procrastinated I added this thing all winter but I didn't get started on it until the springtime here and uh, nothing like working under pressure I waited till the last week it was coming down. I forgot what day it was coming. I thought I had a month, but turns out I had a week. That's why it helps to write things down whenever people tell you important information like dates when they're coming out to pick up their truck. So you can have it finished for them. I looked for a head months ago, but all I could find was one with a 12 millimeter spark plugs. So I had the heads. This is a 5.4. It's a 2009 three quarter ton Ford, but the motor's out of an 07. So the heads were different. They had uh, 16 millimeter spark plugs. And so when I scrambled around to find one this time around, it was the same same choices. This they had it in stock and it was only 210 bucks and it came with the cam and everything. So I picked that up. We're gonna do a little experiment here. I got these five pointed fours come with two different kinds of uh, plugs. And I put some different coils in to make it work because uh, those spark plugs use a, a longer uh, boot on the coil. So here's the difference between the brown boot and the black boot, about a quarter inch. So if you have the 12 millimeter threads on your spark plugs, you take the brown boot and the black boot is for the 16 millimeter. And I already had two of them, different ones mixed in the mix of the, of the eight. So I just had to buy two more and put them all on this one side. The guy who bought it off of just threw it together. I, it used to be an old fleet truck and I uh, I think the guy took the good motor out of here and put it in something he was driving and put his shitty motor in here and just ran a couple of bolts in it to hold it together. And now it's my uncle's problem. <laughs> and mine. I get more done without... Uh, filming so I so you guys missed a lot of this a lot of the steps here but I got the head on there as you can see the timing cover I was able to leave this one valve cover on and just undo the bolts that went in, that go into the timing chain cover and uh, I was able to slide it in and out and just lubed up the gasket a bit and so it slides in there without pulling it out of its groove and uh, as you can see, I got it on there and bolts are in. I'm just about to tighten them down. Uh, these ones here, you torque them. These ones here, you torque them to 30 foot pounds. And uh, then you give them a 90. And then you give them another 90. And I uh, feel like you're just about to snap them. So they're torque to yield anytime you have the head off. You want to put it back together with some new bolts. And, uh, oh, lost my socket. Didn't go all the way through. <laughs> Lucky. So you want to start from the center and work your way out. And uh, you want to make sure you rate them down as you torque them so that you don't, uh, so you don't forget one. Or torque one twice and end up snapping it, so. Good idea to write it down, then you don't have to second guess. So I'll just draw yourself a little picture of all the bolts. I've uh, torqued them all to 30, and then 
put a line through it when you do 190 and another line through it make an X when you do the second 90 and then that bolts done it will do the one across from it There you go. Well, there's one sequence. Now you do that one more time. And that's tight enough. You want to tighten these things till your asshole pokes out about a quarter inch. Just shy of snapping. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to time this thing uh, with the valve cover still on this side. But I managed to just said I made this little socket wrench for rotating the cam. Get her lined up at the right spot <clears throat> it's the only thing that would fit in there for me and now I got another tool for the box use it next time not on this one as long as you got the one colored link on the mark on the crankshaft and the two colored links split on the mark on the camshaft she'll be happy yeah it worked out pretty good now I just gotta slap the intake on valve cover some accessories and uh should be running again so here we go less talk and more working i think it'll work just fine A 16 millimeter version and a 12 millimeter version so they do is two different heads I got one of each on this engine just because this one was cheap and they had it in stock so uh, that's what we're using Hopefully it's going to work out. The ones with the brown boots are for the uh, 12 millimeter heads and they're a little bit longer boot than the black boot ones. This truck had two of these brown boots in there already. Black boot, brown boot, black boot, 3L3E and those were for the 16 millimeter spark plugs but this truck had two of these brown ones in there already when it had 16 millimeter heads on both sides and so I'm gonna have to buy two more but for now I'm gonna see if these short ones will fire the plugs off just to see if it'll run I'll go get the keys and we'll put the fire in the hole.
here's a message to the, all the instructors out there. Make sure we keep a close eye on these guys when they're uh, building these things in school. Because just remember who's paying for all the parts and who's getting it in the end. The customer who's put their trust in you to, to fix their vehicle to be uh, just as good as new. We can't neglect important things like timing chains when we're building these engines. Let's get her done right first time around so we don't have to keep doing it over and over and over and over again. I'm done. <laughs>